Yellowstone supervolcano could be struck by a huge hydrothermal eruption. Dr. Michael Poland is the geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey Cascades Volcano Observatory. He's in charge for Yellowstone and he said the risk of this type of explosion is bigger than any other. Now I'll remind you that we had uh, a couple of days ago I posted a beautiful uh, video on Yellowstone. It was uh, a scientist, a geologist called Muffler who spoke of his early years working there and uh, that he had to, he was in charge of drilling the uh, holes to uh, station to position the uh, seismographs and what he was finding was uh, ash from hydrothermal eruptions and he told his superior, he says, all I find is ash, I don't find any lava is this because we've been having so many massive hydrothermal reactions with sand and uh, tough and things like that coming up? He says, yes, you're right. That's exactly what happened. But anyway, this is what uh, Dr. Michael Pullen thinks is going to be happening in the future, most likely. A hydrothermal eruption differs from a magma explosion as they come from the underground reservoirs of boiling hot water or steam that burst out because of the pressure. One of the largest hydrothermal eruptions that ever happened in Yellowstone formed the one and a half mile crater about 13,000 years ago. See, every time we read something about Yellowstone, we learn something new. We don't know about the little eruptions, we know about the big ones, but 13,000 years ago, we had an eruption. The last big eruption, basically major, was 70,000 years ago, but we had 130,000 years ago, 110,000 years ago, 70,000 years ago, and ever since the 70,000 year ago eruption, we had another 80 eruptions. And this is just one of them. 13,000 years ago, uh, it formed a one and a half mile crater. That was about 13,000 years ago, as we said. Now, speaking to Daily Star, this is where I'm reading the uh, article from, Dr. Poland said smaller hydrothermal eruptions leaving craters a few meters wide usually happen every year, but that a much bigger one could occur. Now, I didn't even know that. Every year, a few meters deep. Um, we had one about 5,000 some odd years ago that left a lake. I remember I did a video on that a couple of days back. Now, he said most hydrothermal explosions are very small. Those are not uncommon. He says we would affect uh, these would affect anyone standing within a few meters because it throws rocks up into the air and, of course, scalding water. But there are some bigger craters that are a few hundred meters in diameter, so this attests to very large volumes of water. Dr. Poland said it's one of these types of eruptions that would be far more destructive to life of any kind. A massive hydrothermal explosion would shoot rocks and water out of the ground at high speeds which would cover a huge area, a bigger area. He says that the direct area of the crater would be devastated. Some of the deposits from the explosion would be found kilometers away from the source. Now, as you move further away, the impact will lessen. So if you're within a few kilometers, you would definitely be subject to these impacts, these ballistics, basically large rocks that are flying through the air, and little surges of ash that would be extraordinarily harmful to any life. Dr. Poland uh, comments on uh, fears amongst Yellowstone that it's overdue and devastating uh, a devastating super eruption. The last time one of these uh, cataclysmic events occurred was, as we know, about 640,000 years ago and saw molten lava and ash spew for miles around. NASA revealed a potential plan to stop the volcano from exploding, which includes drilling to uh, uh, pump in cold water somehow to cool down the reservoir. There are fears immediately raise the risk of uh, such a plan because it could backfire, triggering an eruption and, uh, of course, bringing to the world a deadly nuclear winter. Now, despite warnings, something must be done about Yellowstone. 
Brian Wilcox, a member of the NASA Advisory Council on Planetary Defense, warned the plan could cause an eruption. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.